Hello, this is Dr. Grande. Welcome to my video on conducting a two-way ANCOVA in SPSS. I have here in the SPSS data editor fictitious data, and it's set up so that I can perform an ANCOVA. I have a referral variable, and this has two levels, voluntary and involuntary, a treatment independent variable, and this has three levels, cognitive behavior therapy, psychodynamic therapy, and gestalt therapy. And then I have a pretest, and these scores would have been collected before the treatment was administered, and before we know the referral status, before the referral status is determined. So we can assume that we have participants and they would know there's a possibility of coming to this treatment program, but they would not know the referral status, whether it was voluntary or involuntary, when the pretest was administered. The pretest is going to be the covariate in this example, so it would have to be administered before either of the independent variables. And then we have the post test. So we can assume that these scores, the pretest and the post-test scores, are from a psychometric instrument designed to capture some sort of construct related to mental health, like depression or anxiety, and that a high score indicates more severe symptoms and a lower score less severe symptoms. So before I demonstrate the ANCOVA, first I'm going to run a two-way ANOVA. So that'll include just referral, treatment, and post-test. I cover the assumptions for ANOVA uh, and for ANCOVA in other videos. So here I'll be focusing really just on the analysis, although for the ANCOVA, for the two-way ANCOVA, I will be demonstrating the homogeneity of regression assumption because the way to test that is a little different for two-way ANCOVA as opposed to a one-way ANCOVA. So first, the ANOVA. So go to Analyze, General, Linear Model, and Univariate. And here we have the Univariate Dialog. And this dialog, this General Linear Model Univariate Dialog, is the same whether you're conducting an ANOVA or an ANCOVA. So the configuration for ANOVA I'm going to reuse that for ANCOVA and just add the covariate. So first we have the dependent variable. That's going to be post-test. And then we have the fixed factors or the independent variables. So one is referral and the other is treatment. Under plots, I'm going to move referral to the horizontal axis and treatment to the separate lines text box and add that. Continue. Under post hoc, the referral independent variable only has two levels, so there's no need for a post hoc test there. It won't, it won't run. Uh, treatment has three levels, so I'm going to move that over. I'm going to use a two-key post hoc test uh, under equal variances assumed and continue. Uh, I'm not going to make any changes under save, but under options, I'm going to remove referral, treatment, and referral times treatment over to display means for compare main effects and for the confidence interval adjustment I'm going to move this to a Bonferroni adjustment. Descriptive statistics, estimates of effect size, and observed power I'll add those as well as homogeneity tests under the display frame here. Continue and OK. So this is an ANOVA this is not an ANCOVA, so this will not have the covariate included. And if we take a look at the tests of between subjects effects, we can see that for the independent variable referral, we do not have a statistically significant finding. 0 0.062 is greater than 0 0.05. For treatment, the independent variable treatment, we do have a statistically significant finding. 0 0.013 and the interaction effect, referral times treatment, 
is also statistically significant 0 0.037. So we're going to want to see how these significance values change, the probability values change, when we add the pretest in as a covariate. So I move back to the data editor. In order to run the ANCOVA, I would just need to go to Analyze, General Linear Model, Univariate, and then add a pretest over to the covariate list box. However, I want to test the assumption of homogeneity of regression. So I'm going to have to make a change under model to test that and then come back and run the ANCOVA after that. So instead of the full factorial here for specify model, I'm going to make this custom. And again, this is just to test the homogeneity of regression assumption. So you can see we have the independent variable referral, independent variable treatment, the covariate pretest, all in this factors and covariates list box. And we want to leave under build term the type set to interaction. And I want to have all three possible two-way interactions over here in this model as well as the three-way interaction. So using the control key, first I'll select referral and treatment, move that over. Then I'll select referral and pretest move that over, and then treatment and pretest. So all possible, all of the three possible pairwise comparisons I've moved over. And then back in factors and covariates, I'll select all three. We have a three-way interaction here. So referral times treatment, pretest times referral, pretest times treatment, and pretest times referral times treatment. And again, this is custom up here up top. Click Continue and click OK. And I'm only really interested in one table. That's the tests uh, between subjects effects. And I'm only interested in the combinations that I put into that uh, custom model. So referral times treatment, looking here at the p value, 0.582. Referral times pretest, 0.719. Treatment times pretest, 0.351 and the three-way interaction referral times treatment times pretest 0.36. So we do not have any statistically significant findings for these interactions. So we're going to assume that we have met the assumption of homogeneity of regression. Now moving back to the data editor. Uh, so before I continue and complete the ANCOVA, I do want to mention, of course, there are other assumptions, and I'm not going to test those here, but we want to make sure that the dependent variable, the post-test, uh, is normally distributed for every combination of the levels of the independent variables. We want to make sure we have homogeneity of variance, uh, no outliers. The relationship between the independent variables and the dependent variable must be linear. And, of course, homogeneity of regression, and I tested for that. So moving over to general linear model under analyze, general linear model univariate. I'm going to go back to model and move away from custom over here to full factorial. Click continue. And now I'm ready to conduct the ANCOVA. And click OK. And we can see here in the descriptive statistics that if we look at these different combinations of the levels of the independent variables, the one that really seems to stand out is the voluntary level of the independent variable referral and the CBT level of the independent variable treatment. The mean there, uh, just under 39, quite a bit lower than the other mean values. Taking a look here at the Levine's test in this table, we have a p-value here of 0.254. That is not statistically significant, so we would assume that we have satisfied the homogeneity of variance assumption. Moving down to tests of between subjects effects, we can see that the 
pretest, we have a statistically significant finding there for pretest, that's the covariate. We do not have a main effect for referral, that's 0.131. So no statistically significant main effect for referral. For treatment, however, we do have a statistically significant main effect, 0 0.002. And the interaction effect between referral and treatment, that's statistically significant as well. Moving down uh, the output, we have estimates here for the referral variable. We have the voluntary and involuntary level, and these are adjusted for the covariate pretest. And moving down to treatment, the same thing for estimates. These means are adjusted for the pretest for treatment. And then we have pairwise comparisons here and we can see that we have a statistically significant difference between CBT psychodynamic, CBT and Gestalt, but not between psychodynamic and Gestalt. So CBT psychodynamic 0 0.003, CBT Gestalt 0 0.02, but psychodynamic and Gestalt, that's 0 0.161, not statistically significant. And then under profile plots, have referral on the x-axis and we have the estimated marginal means on the y-axis and for the different lines CBT is in blue, psychodynamic in green and gestalt in brown and we can see as we move from voluntary to involuntary the CBT mean increases quite a bit Gestalt is about the same, and psychodynamic decreases, moving from voluntary to involuntary. And again, this is with us controlling for the pretest, partialing out the effect of the pretest by using the ANCOVA. So the ANCOVA allows us to partial out the effect of a covariate. I hope you found this video on conducting a two-way ANCOVA and SPSS to be useful. As always, if you have any questions or concerns, feel free to contact me. I'll be happy to assist you.